Oh! Oh! Oh, brother. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Before I start today's video, if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see here today, go check out the other videos on the channel. But today we are back on the burnout truck. I know it's been a little little bit since we put a video up out on it, but that's because the transmission is still in the shop getting built. Today, what I've ordered is the harness bar. I don't have it here today, but in preparation for that, we need to get the stock seats out of here and get the racing seats in there. If you guys remember, the seats originally were out of here. We were gonna put the racing seats in there, but we didn't have all the parts to do it. We wanted to have seat belts while we were driving it. So we've, uh, like I said, harness bars coming in. We got harnesses. So um, tonight I'm gonna work on fabbing up the race seats in here and getting you know the height right and getting them bolted down and stuff like that so let me pull these seats up out of here let me show you what we're working with one well two factory seats so here's the big old bulky heavy nasty factory seat out of the original that is originally comes with the burnout truck and here are the seats that we're going with now uh still got to get covers for them it's just like the, the regular plastic racing seat but what i gotta do today i have some metal over there that i'm going to be working with i've got a bracket under here that i've got to get the steel lined up on the bracket i have to get the steel bolted down to the floor somehow i've got a big box of miscellaneous nuts and bolts that we're going to use but really, my main concern is the driver's seat, and then it's the passenger seat because I need the height adjusted for me. And then the passenger seat, if it sits in the floor, it's, it's not the end of the world. It just needs to be bolted down and safe. But I want to do this the safe way. Um, I want it bolted down good, and I don't want it to rip off for any reason. But I definitely want to focus on my height more than anything, so that way... I'm comfortable driving it and I'm in a good seating position. So let me look at what I'm working with here. I'll show you guys my idea. All right, guys. So this is a piece of Unistruck and it's just a scrap piece we had at work. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to the length of the studs that are already in the floor pan and run the new nuts and bolts through here. You know, so it's bolted to the cab. We'll do it on both sides and then bolt the bracket to the seat on top of this. This will raise me up two inches. I may even go up and stack it again and do four inches, but this is extremely strong. It's not flimsy metal. In fact, the brackets on the seats are flimsier than this. So if anything fails, it's the brackets on the seat. But the problem is, is that my grinding wheel is toast and I can't find the other one that I had. So we run the loads real quick and get a grinding wheel and we'll come back and put this in. Alrighty, so. <laughs> We went and got our cutoff wheels, so now I can go ahead and cut this. Uh, I'm going to do, there's space between the studs is 13 inches. I'm going to cut 16 inches of strut. That way I know that there's, you know, plenty to drill the holes and stuff through and get the bolt in. I'm going to cut the one piece, sit it in there, and make sure that I like it lengthwise. And if that's the case, I'll cut another 16 inch piece and then get it bolted down into the floor. Alrighty, so I've got the first piece of strut on here, so you can kind of see what I'm thinking about now. So I've got the piece of strut bolted to the bracket, and that's going to give us, the, you know, a little bit of raise up in the height. And actually, I thought I had the tape measure over here, but ideally, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go like three or four inches, so I might have to do another piece of strut to get the height. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate what I've done here, right here, and then I'm going to set it in the truck, and then I'm going to set it and see how I like the height. If I like the height, then you can we can screw it right into the truck. If not, like I said, we'll double up on it. All right, so actually with the strut on there, this is perfect. My height from where I would want to sit is good. I mean, I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit, uh, but yeah, I wanna, I'm trying to think about wearing a helmet too. I gotta think about my clearance with a helmet, which we have plenty of clearance with that, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this height. So just one layer of strut's gonna do it for this. So what I gotta do now is, I gotta drill the holes and get it actually bolted to the floor pan of the truck. 
And I guess the next thing I got to do is adjust my forward to back. I want to go back a little bit. And uh, just to give myself a little bit of leg room. I don't want to go too far, but I definitely want to go a little bit further than this. I'm six foot two, so I got to have a little bit more leg room in here <laughs> than, than most people. So let me adjust that and we'll drill the holes. All right, so this was a way bigger challenge than I'd imagined mainly because of all the stuff that's under where the driver's seat is supposed to be that I had to work around. But I got it bolted up in here. I got, you know, two bolts on each side running through and it runs through the body. On the underside is where I stuck the bolt up through with a washer so that way it can't pull up through the hole. And it is, it's, it's sturdy. Of course, I'm moving the whole truck now. <laughs> now because it's, it's on the jack. But I feel really comfortable with this. That feels good. The seating position is good. I feel, you know, decently low enough to where the helmet's going to clear good. My leg room is good right here at the wheel. So, yeah, I, I like I like that a lot. That's going to work out pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I guess, get the passenger side in, which I'm hoping is a lot faster than the driver's side. All right, so I've got all the brackets fabbed up on the passenger seat. It's late, and uh, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me at least another half hour to get it screwed into the floor. So... I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, but here you go. There are racing seats in the Silverado burnout truck. The driver's side's bolted down. We still gotta bolt the passenger down. Um, you know, the thing is, is, I guess they've gotta be somewhat forward just because of the hump here on the, the pan, the floor pan. The driver's seat worked out good. The passenger's gonna be fine. I think actually I had the passenger sit about right there is about how I've got it set. And we need room in the back because the harness bar is gonna go in the back and that's what you're hooking the harnesses to. And stuff like that so you definitely don't want to be all the way up against the back because we got to leave room for that bar and whatnot so it's pretty cool I, I it's definitely a nice touch of the whole thing i don't know what i'm gonna do about the floor uh i haven't decided if we're gonna rip the rest of the vinyl out or really what i'm gonna do yet i guess i'll figure that out later it's still really dirty in here it needs to be cleaned up but racing seats in the silverado stay tuned we're gonna be putting the harnesses in and stuff like that Still waiting on the transmission. I'm actually going by the shop tomorrow to talk to the guy and see where he's at with it. Really looking forward to getting the transmission back so we can get back to ripping this thing and getting this thing tuned. So stay tuned to the channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Drop any comments you got down below. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Austin04 underscore Z71. Take care. Have a great day.